in the making. Runner-up in Skate America a couple of weeks ago. Kaori Sakamoto lying in seventh here. But uh, can she make a, a big impression? This routine in uh, Skate America was outstanding. Soundtrack to The Piano. Triple flip, triple toe loop. Absolutely no problem. Consummate ease. Beautiful transition with the rockers before it. Counters out of it. Judges have to be happy with what they're seeing. Double axle. She looks in terrific form. So it continues. Salco. Now another big combination here. Double axle, triple toe, double toe. Flip double toe, packing in the points now. This just could get her on the podium. within the choreographic sequence. Just a little note to self to stay focused for the last jump. And there it is. Triple loop. gorgeous she was great in skate america but for me she was even better here this afternoon what a sight she is i have to say of all the japanese i like watching her most 
I know it's uh, sacrilege almost, but even more than <laughs> Miyahara, I just love watching her. Well, uh, that's, it was such a brilliant, brilliant performance, and she was really distraught after the short program, very upset. Perhaps so much pressure placed on herself, knowing that she could potentially qualify for the, the Grand Prix final. And it looks like she has done, she and her coach have done the perfect job in assessing the disappointment and channeling that into something quite brilliant. And it's interesting that you say that you enjoy her most. I think what she and her team have done in employing Ben Wildry Show as a choreographer has been genius. She is not the skater that Mia Hara is. Mia Hara is very elegant and very balletic in her approach. Kaori isn't of that style, and so they've picked quite abstract choreography. It's a little bit more quirky, less elegant in its style, but it's perfect for her. Ooh, changed edge slightly on the loops. But here you can see even as she commits her head movement to the landing of the jump, she's fully committed and, and the job that they've done, that now the judges don't give a choreography mark, they give a composition mark and they're looking to see if the skater has a program that is well composed, well constructed, but if they're committed to their piece and she really was committed to this Michael Nyman score. And she's got a chance now, a real chance of getting on the podium. Mona Hendricks in third place, 63-17. She's on 57-26, so uh, six marks away. And, and there you can see the traveling three turns into the loop, the little falling leaf out of it. The judges will give that a great grade of execution. She had brilliant skating skills. The opening back outside rocker turn in the transition had such flow. <laughs> I love to see that reaction, isn't it wonderful? Yes, and for the hordes of Japanese who made the move, what a day it's been for them. They've seen Yuzuru Hanyu, the double Olympic champion, at his very best. Mm -hmm. And now they've seen this. Brilliant. Well worth the trip. Oh, absolutely. And it's exciting. It's so, so exciting. I think that could get her to second place, actually. <laughs> She's looking to take it in. Oh, 140.16. It's not quite as good as it was in Skate America, but it is, I mean, considering what happened yesterday, it's an even better performance. And she has got a real shot of a podium place. Let's see how it unfolds. But she is uh, an extra special talent. And look, she's 